so like I got attacked by acid and then pretty much like after two years I stayed home all the time and then I, I was so um, scared to face people because I don't want to um, scare them because I heard that I look pretty because I looked myself in the mirror and I was I looked monster at that time. There were a lot of survivors who are just being isolated and they're just staying at home like in four walls and their parents are even not encouraging them to do stuff because they think their life has ended for sure. So like I was like this is not happening. I need to step out and help myself and educate myself so can I able so then I can able to educate them too. So I started studying by myself, but it was not working. So my parents uh, allowed me like the home tutors. So home tutors came and they teach me. And then I start um, working. And then I first went to school to just give an exam. I initially came here to for my treatment. And then one of my uncle, like he's a software engineer. So he goes all the places like for his projects and then wherever you go he will search all the hospitals and then he find out that there is a hospital shriners in downtown and then they um they treat you free of cost from 16 to 21 years old so i was like that's perfect i have to go there i came for uh initially for six to nine months but then my treatment got extended so i have to stay here for pretty while and it was like I'm wasting my educational time. I need to do productive something. And then I applied hundred of universities, and but like you see, they give me the best response. And because I send them like this is my condition because that time I was still on my medical visa, so I couldn't like get to school with in having a student visa. But you see, like supported me. They were like, okay, there is a chance you can get admission and then you have to go back to change your student visa. I was like, okay. And then I give TOEFL example. I had surgeries in Shriners. I get that. So everything was perfect. And they were like, oh, you got admission. I was happy. Like I was excited. And, and when I told my parents that I got accepted in American college, they were um, like, they were thrilled that really. I'm like, yeah, really.